We're here at the Butterfly House and we're standing inside our new entomology lab. We opened the new and expanded entomology lab last September and it adds so much to the visitor experience. We're able to show more of what happens in the care and housing of our animals. We're able to give people a chance to view the inside of the lab, to see us at work and to see the butterfly chrysalids as the butterflies come out of them and to see the array of different chrysalids that we have. Our new lab space actually allows us to show off more chrysalids than we could before, including this one, the beautiful paper kite chrysalis. This is one of our most spectacular butterfly chrysalises and before many people visiting the Butterfly House couldn't even see it. When many people visit us here at the Butterfly House, they do have lots of questions about how we care for the animals. And they wonder, well, what do you do as an entomologist? So having the new entomology lab here gives us a chance to engage with people and answer those questions. We want every little kid who's interested in bugs to know that, yes, you can become an entomologist. Here's what you need to know. We want people to be able to satisfy their curiosity about how bugs live and how we care for them. And this new entomology lab allows us to do that. The entomology lab is the home for all of our animals. It is the place where the butterfly chrysalids go until they can be released into the flight house. It's the place where all of the insects, spiders, and other animals live when they're not out on display. We keep many, many more animals than we do have space for out in our hallways. When the animals are not on display, they live here in the entomology lab. The other thing that happens in the entomology lab is that it's where the entomology staff works. We come in here to feed the animals on a daily basis. We receive butterfly shipments in here. We do things like prepare the trays of fruit that go out into the conservatory for the butterflies to feed from. One very exciting thing about the new entomology lab space is that it's more than doubled the space we had previously. It's allowed us to invest in exciting new things like our new emergence chambers, which besides being places for the butterfly chrysalids to go and grow into butterflies, they can also provide us chances to maybe breed new kinds of insects that we didn't have before because they allow us to tightly control temperature and humidity maybe have a different daytime and nighttime temperature and have that all programmed in so it just works automatically. There are actually certain types of beetles and other animals that it's possible to breed in captivity, but they need very special conditions. Well, having these new emergence chambers might allow us to actually breed some of those animals that we couldn't work with before. Our butterflies actually come to us in big shipping boxes. They've come via the country of origin of the butterflies. We get butterflies from Costa Rica, Ecuador, Malaysia, the Philippines, and they come to us from butterfly farms. The farmer's job is to actually raise the caterpillars until the caterpillars make a chrysalis. Then they package the chrysalids into the boxes, put them in the next day air mail to us, and then we get them here at the butterfly house. So the farmers have really perfected the art of shipping chrysalids. They pack them between layers of cotton, sometimes using foam or other things, just to keep them from jostling into each other and damaging each other physically as they're shipped. From there, they're put inside styrofoam or other insulating materials, so they'll be protected from extreme heat or extreme cold, and then they just get them to us as quickly as possible. The chrysalis is capable of being damaged, but it's also, with special care, perfectly able to survive such a journey. We bring those boxes back into the entomology lab very quickly so that we can unpack them. We give them a quick inspection just to make sure they're all healthy and happy. And then we hang them up from strings or other mounts and put them into the emergence chambers. And then the butterflies emerge inside the emergence chamber. They expand their wings, let them harden and dry out so they're ready for flight. And then we move them from inside the lab to onto the conservatory and let the butterflies fly away. So the next time you visit us at the Butterfly House, come see us at the Entomology Lab. For more information, visit our website, butterflyhouse.org.